10 metres shy of that halfway line, leap back in at dummy half to Jufre, he's got the maroon coloured scrum cap on to Yates, it goes to Scott and it's been picked up there by Connor Robinson, is it? Connor Robinson, he's going to show electric pace and Connor Robinson will open the score in here for the York City Knights. Batley running out of tackles, they're coming on this left edge once again, Paul Briley palms it out to Campbell, Campbell's in, that's touched to York City Knight hand has it, Tom Grant points the finger. Liam Salter, they're going over on that left hand edge, pugnacious passing, and the rain, it's a try from Sam Wood, and it's picked up by Jufre, he's going to go the distance, and he he's got he Robinson to chasing him, so two gentlemen save, Lewis Jufre is potentially going to bump the Bulldogs in the semi-final of the 1895 Cup, and look what it means to those players. Pushing and shoving at the rook there. Salter gets to his feet. Plays the ball. The kick oh, goes there. Well and it's a try to world job. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're going the distance. Looking at the post. He's drawing that imaginary line. Is this one there? Is it there? It's there. We're going to Golden Point. Extra time in the 1895. Can they get in position for a good crack at the drop goal? Broadbent gets to his feet. Here goes Lewis Jufre. Jufre for the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs are going to win it. The drop goal's given. 17 points to 16. West Yorkshire triumphs over North Yorkshire and Boom and Crescent. And look what it means. Lewis Jufre wins it for the Bulldogs in Golden Point extra time.